Hey everyone, today we are going to see about a service definitions. As a number of different case types may substantially grow and processes can be complex and the customer service organization wants its agents to efficiently select the appropriate support service. Uh, so the customer requires the selection of uh, service must be based on the customer's product. This way agents can create the correct case type to support the customer's inquiry without remembering them. So the first service NGM wants to implement a technical support service for errors experienced by the customers when, uh, when they use the product. So let's uh, brief in through the video. Now we are in a service new instance. Now let's enable the service uh, definition selector. So first we should go to the system uh, pro assist, assist properties table. So here we should need to uh, select a uh, we should need to enter the uh, property name. So this is a property name which we have. So this property is in CSM type application. So now uh, let's go and uh, change the CS uh, change the application. So once we change it, you can refresh this page and you can change the value as true. You can save this page now. So now we are going to enable a uh, case UI action actually. So let's go to the UI action. Type create case. So in the interaction table, we can go to the interaction table with the case create case, and you can change the uh, scope to customer service application. Once we change it, you can refresh this page and you can deactivate this UI action. After that, you can go to the action bar, declarative actions. And you can go to the create case with the interaction table so now you can change the uh, application for some CSM configurable workspace foundation So once we change it, you can refresh this page and uh, I activate this create case record. Now we can create a service definition. For that we should need to go to the manage case types. Click general. So in here you have this service definition. So you can create a new service definition. Before we go, you can change it, change the scope to product defect management. So once we change it, you can refresh this page and then you can go and create a service definitions. So the name can be a technical error support.
so the table should be product effect case then the customer service type i can select as a post scale post sale and you can save this page so now we are going to create a product service relationship so here we have this product service relationship under this technical support uh, uh, page so now you should need to create here the product can be a now global uh, media so i can select it in here so once we select it you can save this page submit this page so now we are going to do the lab verification so let's let's impersonate with the netstar so sam collins contact uh, sorry sam collins contacted ngm's uh, customer service as a streaming device so yeah calico box v7.1 uh, keeps restarting so netstar Net netstar uh, who handles the case will select the appropriate service based on uh, customer owned product without having to worry about which case type must be used so let's go to the csm fsm um, configurable workspace so the net netstar uh, net is a uh, agent so now i can go into in uh, go into here and uh, you can go to the list here we have the interaction table so you can create a new interaction type is phone customer is a sam collins short description i can put as streaming device keeps on restarting so like this i can do that and then i can save this page once i save this page i have this ui action create case ui action which we have enabled in the action assignments table which we have dis dis disabled in the ui action system definition ui action we have enabled the action assignment table so that the create case could be uh, under the action assignment so uh, uh, let's create a case if we create the case uh, like you can able to uh, see this pop up which we have enabled this using this action assignments so now let's select the product now global calico box 1.v7 then technical support error so this case type can be auto bubble product defect case now create a case actually so important thing is which the service definitions are available in service definition selector is not only depend on the product service relationship also service definitions customer service type field play a significant role in here okay now you can create a case before sorry uh, once this page comes you can uh, uh, fill the mandatory fields so i can provide a short description streaming device keeps on restarting so description uh, definition a uh, defect description i can provide device stuck in loop software wise then we should provide the steps to reproduce all these when device is started so like this i should need to provide the mandatory fields uh, information and then you can save this form and uh, the 
the first encountered is also mandatory so you can go to the first encountered and select the dates and select a previous date and you can save this case once we saved you can assign it uh, to me so that is assign it to the net stark who is the agent is in the case type so you can assign it to me but it select the assign it to me button this is how the case type is uh, creating by the agent which is net stark so the uh, ui action you can able to see and also we are creating this uh, definition that's it at today's video. I'll see you soon.